वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम वन डैश एटी वन दिस प्रॉब्लम इज टेकन फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर वन दैट इज स्ट्रेस एंड बुक नेम इज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटीरियल बाय आर सी हिबलर सो स्टेटमेंट इज द स्टील पाइप इज सपोर्टेड ऑन सिलेंड्रिक सर्कुलर बेस प्लेट एंड कंक्रीट पेडिस्टल इफ नॉर्मल फेरियर स्ट्रेस फॉर स्टील इज थ्री फिफ्टी मेगा पासकल डिटरमाइन द मिनिमम थिकनेस टी ऑफ द पाइप इफ इट सपोर्ट द फोर्स ऑफ फिफ्टी हंड्रेड फाइव हंड्रेड किलो न्यूटन यूज अ फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी अगेंस्ट द फेलियर इज वन पॉइंट फाइव also find the minimum radius r of this base plate so that minimum factor of safety again the failure of concrete due to bearing is 2.5 the failure bearing stress for concrete is 25 mega pascal so you can see this is the pipe having axial load of 500 kilo newton the inner outer radius is 100 mm and inner radius is not known and thickness t is also not known and this is the base plate that is mounted on this concrete base clear so you we have been given all the data so you have to find this thickness t and minimum radius r of this base plate so let's start with the solution we can see we have steel plate and uh, uh, concrete so we we know that allowable normal stress for steel is equal to this load which is acting as 500 p divided by the uh, area of this pipe okay, clear area of steel pipe and similarly allowable stress bearing stress for concrete is equal to this load p divided by the area of this concrete so area of this concrete is similar to this area of this base plate so area of concrete you can see okay now what we will do is that we will find this as area of st uh, this is equal to p and area of this uh, pipe hollow pipe will be equal to pi by 4 or pi r r outer square minus r inner square clear and similarly here this will give you allowable stress in steel and allowable stress in concrete is equal to p divided by area of concrete so uh, which will be the same for this base plate so it will be pi r square clear so it will be pi r square now we will calculate uh, this allowable stress in steel and allowable stress in concrete so we know that for steel first i will calculate for steel so for steel we know that factor of safety is equal to failure stress clear allowable stress in failure divided by allowable stress working allowable uh, what i have written i have written let me correct it in failure stress in steel is equal to allowable stress in steel so factor of safety for steel is given as 1.5 we are finding allowable stress so allowable stress in steel which is allowed and will be safe will be equal to failure stress in steel divided by factor of safety and that will be equal to 350 mega pascal divided by 1.5 and this will give you 233.3 mega pascal in steel clear so i will write it we get allowable normal stress in steel is equal to 233.3 mega pascal now for concrete for concrete we have also the same formula which is that factor of safety is equal to failure stress in concrete divided by allowable stress in concrete so from here you will get allowable stress in concrete is equal to failure stress in concrete divide by factor of safety so put the value 
allowable stress is 25 in concrete and factor of safety is 2.45 so i will write 25 divided by 2.5 will give you 10 mega pascal clear concrete now what we will do is that we have this value we have this value we have r naught so we will calculate for steel so let me choose another color for steel we know that allowable normal stress for steel is equal to p divided by pi into r naught square minus r i square so this is r i square p uh, uh, this is 233.3 allowable normal stress is 233.3 megapascal so 10 to the power 6 is equal to p is given as 500 kilo newton so i will write 500 into 10 to the power 3 divided by pi and r naught which is 100 millimeter so r naught is 100 millimeter and in meter it is 0 0.1 meter and ri is not known so this is ri clear so 0 0.1 square minus ri square so from here you will get pi into 0 0.1 square minus ri square is equal to 500 multiplied by 10 raised to power 3 divided by 233.3 into 10 raised to power 6 and we will get pi into 0 0.1 square minus pi into r i square is equal to 500 into 10 raised to power 3 divided by 233.3 into 10 raised to power 6 so what we will get is that pi into 0 0.1 square minus this value 500 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 233.3 into 10 to the power 6 will be equal to pi r i square. And if you divide r i on pi on both side clear so you will get 0 0.1 square minus um, 500 into 10 raised to power 3 divided by pi into 233.3 into 10 raised to power 6 it will be equal to ri square and if you take under root on both sides so ri will be equal to uh, 0 0.09653 meter so in term of meter it will be equal to millimeter it will be 96.5 3 millimeter now you have ri so we know that ri plus uh, t is equal to r outer let me show you here you can see ri this is ri and this is t t will equal to r naught so you can put ri is 96.53 plus thickness is not known and r naught is 100 millimeter so thickness will be equal to 100 minus 96.53 millimeter so from here you will get the thickness of this steel pipe is 3.47 millimeter so this is the answer of our first part now we'll move towards second part and in second part we have been find the radius of this base plate clear so we know that we will use this formula and allowable concrete is 10 mega pascal so we know that allowable stress in concrete is equal to p divided by pi r square so from here this r square will be equal to p divided by pi into allowable stress for concrete so put the value p is 500 kilonewton so 500 into 10 to the power 3 divided by pi and allowable stress is 10 mega pascal so 10 into 10 to the power 6 will be equal to r square and when you take under root on both sides square root square root on both sides so you will get 
this as r will be equal to 0 0.1262 meter or this r will be equal to in millimeter it will be 126 millimeter and that is the answer of our second part so that was all about this problem 1-81 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos and i will request you to share these videos with your friends and help me in growing further if you have any question you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.